Welcome to NTN Nightly. I am Janelle Norville. This edition Stop Stories. Communities urged to adhere to protocols stipulated by the Department of Health and Wellness. St. Lucia joins the world in celebrating International Nurses Day and COVID-19 ushers in a new normal. As of May 12, 2020, St. Lucia has recorded a total of 18 confirmed cases of COVID-19. 17 are fully recovered and have reintegrated into their communities, and one active case is currently in hospital care and recovering well. The Department of Health and Wellness, as it continues to battle the COVID-19 pandemic, is calling on the public to cooperate fully, especially during the current phased reopening of the country, which commenced on Monday, April 13, 2020. The department is making an urgent plea to community members to adhere to all stipulations, including the recommended six feet physical distancing measures and the use of a face mask or scarf. Chief Medical Officer in the Department of Health and Wellness, Dr. Sharon Belmar George, indicated that there is a lack of compliance at the community level. She reiterated that St. Lucia is still at a very critical position in the response to the national COVID-19 threat and thus the country cannot let its guard down. On Tuesday, May 12, 2020, the Department of Health and Wellness received into quarantine 20 St. Lucians who are cruise ship workers on the Carnival Glory. These nationals shall be in quarantine for a period of 14 days as per the country's established protocol. Over the next few weeks, we will continue to receive other St. Lucian cruise workers and eventually we will receive the rest of our returning nationals. The Department of Health and Wellness implores everyone to cooperate during the current phased reopening of the country, which commenced from April 13, 2020. The Department makes an urgent plea at the level of the community to adhere to the recommended six foot physical distancing measures and also the use of a face mask or scarf. We do not see compliance at the level of the smaller communities. St. Lucia is still in a critical position in our response to COVID-19. On its own, Dr. Belmar George indicated that the virus is unable to spread, rather people spread the virus. As such, by remaining at home and avoiding mass crowd activities, the potential of an outbreak of COVID-19 is significantly reduced. Though keeping these physical distance measures and wearing a face mask may be challenging for some and very different from what is known to be normal within the communities, its benefit in preventing the local transmission surpasses any inconveniences. The public is once again urged to adhere to all protocols stipulated by the Department of Health and Wellness as St. Lucia continues its fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. Corporate St. Lucia continues to play its part in the fight against COVID-19. Rubis West Indies Limited is the latest entity to provide support, donating personal protective equipment, PPE, to aid in the fight against COVID-19 in St. Lucia. More in this report from Fernel Neptune. The Ministry of Health and Wellness recently received the donation of personal protective equipment, PPE, from Rubis Western is Limited to help healthcare workers in the fight against COVID-19. Country manager of Rubis Western is Limited, Gary Gustav, says it is extremely important that his organization play a significant part to ensure frontline healthcare workers, patients, and the community as a whole remain safe from the global pandemic of COVID-19. We are pleased to partner with, with the um, CMO and to ensure that those critical persons on the front line get the much needed PPE so as they could continue to um, work diligently and to maintain uh, their safety to ensure that um, their families and the island as a wide continues to, to, to recover from this pandemic. We at Rubis um, have, have partnered with islands around the region and uh, we continue to show our appreciation, our support in this, um, these tough times. Minister for Health and Wellness, Senator the Honorable Mary Isaac, expressed appreciation to Rubis West Indies Limited for the contribution and says the personal protective equipment is vital in this battle. It is wonderful to see that corporate society is coming forward and um, working with us to ensure that our people keep safe 
that our frontline workers have the necessary PPEs for them to do the job that they are doing. And of course, we all know that so far, they have done such a wonderful job in keeping our people safe, in keeping our country safe from this horrible virus. Robes Western is Limited made a donation of 2,000 surgical masks, 2,000 N95 masks, and 2,500 gloves. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health and Wellness, I am Fennel Neptune. St. Lucia joined the rest of the world in commemorating International Nurses Day, celebrated annually on the 12th of May. This year's celebration was held under the theme of Voice to Lead, Nursing the World to Health, which demonstrates how nurses are central to addressing a wide range of health challenges, especially during this time. Anisia Antoine has the details. In commemoration of International Nurses Day, the Ministry of Health and Wellness recognized the nurses of the Owen King AU Hospital, the Victoria Hospital, and the National Mental Wellness Center and celebrated the contribution that they make to society. Deputy Permanent Secretary at the Ministry of Health and Wellness, Jenny Daniel, expressed her gratitude towards the nurses for all their efforts, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. We recognize that nursing is a tough job and we recognize that it's an absolutely necessary job if we are meant to maintain health and wellness in St. Lucia. So for this, in this regard, the ministry wishes to thank and congratulate all the nurses here today, both at all of our institutions as well as our primary health care centers, and to wish everyone happy international nurses. Executive Director at the Owen King EU Hospital and Victoria Hospital, Nancy Francis, highlighted the significance of the work being done by the nurses at the Respiratory Hospital and commended the nurses on the extra effort placed in administering their duties. Today, as we honor them, we take this opportunity to surrender them in a very profound way while observing social distancing. We are now combating COVID and everyone is involved in ensuring that we have zero death in St. Lucia. And today is very momentous for us because at the respiratory hospital so far, we have zero death and it, was, it is as a direct result of the hard work of our nurses. And today on International Nurses Day, we, the management of the Owen King European Union Hospital and the respiratory hospital, congratulate and salute our nurses. The recognition ceremony for International Nurses Day took place on Tuesday, May 12, 2020 at the Owen King EU Hospital. From the Government Information Service, I am Anisia Antoine reporting. COVID-19 has brought about a new normal for many persons, that of working from home. Director of Events and Production at the Cultural Development Foundation, Junior Frederick, explains the pros and cons of this experience and the personal discoveries she's made. Here's Glenn Simon. Despite the devastating impact of COVID-19, globally and locally, there have been some unintended positives which have emerged from this new normal. While some persons have lost their jobs due to this pandemic, others have been forced into a new reality, working from home, for the protection of themselves and their loved ones. You know, you associate your home with um, that place that you come to after work for peace and quiet and you, you, you just let the day go. So now it's almost like you have to rewire. I must admit the first week, um, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it was hard getting into a rhythm of work. I think I spent, I think like most people, the entire week catching up on shows on Netflix. <laughs> Um, and staying up until two in the morning, just watching series. And then after that, um, you need to get your brain active or else, you know, it will turn to nothing. For the past two months, Drinia Frederick, Director of Events and Production at the Cultural Development Foundation, has been working from home. She explained that one of the challenges of getting her mind out of lazy mode to productive mode is by putting all unnecessary gadgets away and setting a routine for herself. So when you get up on the morning, if you normally would exercise or go to the gym, um, you do that routine and you get, in, you get, you get, into, get into the groove. And it's important to create an action plan for yourself. So that action plan, all of the items that you are to complete for the duration of a month. Why put all of that down and list all of them, 10, 15 items? 
is because it will be on your mind whilst you're doing something else. And you know how the brain plays tricks on you. Um, you're focused to the one activity and tells you, oh, you know you need to do that. And then you stop and then you move to the next thing. So you create that action plan with a list of things, all of the items, and what you're going to do to complete it. She said it's important to maintain a healthy work-life balance and set limits. You have to give yourself a cut-off time or else the work never ends. And that too isn't good for you. As a creative person, she discovered that working from home has allowed her creative juices to flow ever more freely and has allowed her to delve deeper into her projects. So for me, the plus side is being able to do that sort of deep work and in terms of when your, your tasks that you have, you have set before you, um, the level of creativity and that feeling of um, um, comfort that you're in your own home, you're not pressured. Um, you're not pressured to go and get dressed and hustle and beat the traffic. We asked her opinion on whether work from home arrangements or teleworking should be kept in some measure even after St. Lucia is freed from this COVID-19 pandemic. But it does concede high levels of productivity and in terms of um, completing the tasks that polish that you want, um, maybe of some sort of type of rotation but also to allow um, companies and businesses to create a proper sort of system or schedule for people working, working from home. I think this was always there, but we never saw the benefits. We never used it, and we never saw it as a tool for productivity. In a Business News Daily article entitled, Working from Home Increases Productivity, researchers found that remote employees work 1.4 more days per month than their office-based counterparts, resulting in more than three additional weeks of work per year. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting. And this is NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson with NTN Nouvelle a Quayol. It is possible for infected food handlers or workers to introduce the COVID-19 virus into food or onto surfaces within the food business by coughing and sneezing or through hand contact unless they strictly follow good personal hygiene practices. Food handlers must wash their hands before starting work, before handling cooked or ready-to-eat food, after handling or preparing raw food, after handling waste, after cleaning duties after using the toilet, after blowing their nose or sneezing or coughing, after eating or drinking, and after handling money. More than ever before, your important role as gatekeepers of St. Lucia's nutritional health and food security should be taken seriously. When you exercise these precautions, you not only safeguard your health, but also continue to allow St. Lucia's access to clean, healthy, and safe food. Remember, it is our responsibility to ensure our nation eats fresh, St. Lucia's best. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Novel Aquial. Monsieur Tan General, Monsieur Madame, Department qui est responsable de formation en gouvernement cette ici, c'est GIS. À ce moment, télévision nationale pays à NTN, qui pose cette nouvelle Aquial, pose cette Primus Hutchinson. Chef officier des affaires économiques. Un gouvernement cette ici, M. Tommy Descat, a annoncé ses nécessités qui plus important en plan gouvernement pour le développement économique et les affaires sociales à cette ici. Nous voyons une discussion à ce NTN, Descat déclare que parmi ce qui est plus important en plan gouvernement pour avancer l'économie cette ici, c'est bâtir sur le chemin. Selon Descat, il y a trois secteurs de développement économique et trois pour affaires sociales. Le chef des affaires économiques a expliqué raison pour ça très important. Ce gouvernement a regardé ça expressement. 
et nous ka aussi garder et porte nous et pour briser briser upgrade vous comprenez runway a soit aller là ou voulez nous so so gouvernement veut expandre et pour ça et pour ça ni plus monde ça venir et pour plus gros jet ça en voler en tout en sorte poser ici vous comprenez et nous ka garder aussi the issue de glow resilience nous ka nous nous quand nous avons un drought, nous avons un Oui, nous avons un drought. Bon, 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 nous avons un peu de temps. Je suis 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 un peu de temps qui a posé en l'eau importance à ce secteur de l'eau pour plusieurs raisons, pour l'industrie touristique, l'agriculture, les manufactures, à parmi plusieurs autres nécessités. Descart parlait aussi à ce restriction et au projet en neuf, mais principalement pour développer le secteur touristique en ce qui paraît au Liban, pays de ci plan, c'est ça. Aider les gens pour upgrade la guest house. Le gouvernement a caché les pour les gens en sorte d'avoir un grant pour assistance mais pas juste ça moun ki ni um, as, as money pour market um, mm. so actuellement tout ba sur le computer oui. moun nan ki lot pays a il ka book il ka gade comment vle oui. il ni pour si cox pas en euh ou pas ni business ou en lèv il pas si ma mettre avertissement il ka di oui moi moi là en il ka aider il ka aider pour tout ça mm -hmm. et il den ba là c'est ça ou ki ka rester en en slawia et vous pouvez préparer à manger les touristes. Vous pouvez manger les femmes qui ne sont pas là, qui ne sont pas là, qui ne sont pas là. Et vous savez qu'il y a aidé. Ce gouvernement a caché ces plans. Pendant cette ci tu as observé et célébré la journée internationale pour nous, ça c'est mardi. Le ministre des Affaires de Santé, Honorable Mary Isaac, en félicitations pour des services service et des sacrifices qui nous a continué à pays, principalement en bas maladie corona, déclaré qu'il est détruit pour savoir que à dans place business qui a traité nous comme n'importe l'autre pratique et aussi à dans chauffeur l'auto passager, pas même confortable pour nous pour voyager à bord l'auto. De voyons discussion à ce matin, mardi, le ministre Isaac pleure de cette situation et qui a détruit et pénétré en même du temps. Et Mme Isaac expliqué que bien souvent, c'est notre salaire qui a quitté le travail pour un petit moment, pour aller en casio, pour prendre un petit pause et pour vivre un travail encore. Et là, il y a un trait dans une place business, c'est la qualité de traitement de salaire qui a reçu. Donc, nous avons dit que nous avons un gros travail pour nous faire, mais nous ne pouvons pas apprécier le travail que nous avons fait assez. Donc, comment nous avons. Comme nous n'avons pas de parole, nous n'avons pas pour dire tout le monde pour nous montrer que nous avons apprécié nos nous. Là, nous avons deux ou trois business côté, c'est nos qui ont les gardés pour le service. Et puis, ces business ça si nous avons ça, si nous avons un nos, nous avons un service, nous avons un service vite. Puisque nous avons un service pour nous faire taper quand nous travaillons. Et bien, nous avons un service pour nous travailler, nous avons un service pour nous travailler, nous avons un service pour nous travailler encore. So, en chai ce business là, yo pa ka ou sa apprécier ce nos là et puis ça ce nos là ka fait et puis là ce nos là vient ni pour hen ce service ça là. Yo ka juste ou sa regarder à quoi dit ou c'est juste ou c'est même contre toutes les autres moun, nous pas ni pour mettre rien en place ba ou juste prend ligne dans contre toutes les autres moun. Mais moi ka dit nous ni pour faire exception en côté, nous ni pour bail ce nos là service avant les autres moun vitement so dat yo sa aller faire travail. Le ministère de l'Agriculture, j'ai un chemin pour augmenter les services de production de secteurs animaux en pays. L'initiative SALA et la station Bossé Jou, qui fermait déjà depuis l'année passée, et pour raison SALA, ces animaux, hot station, j'ai trouvé à l'association agricole College à Falus, à Valémabria, à Denry. Station Nouveaux Animaux, qui a trouvé comme une volette à Mikou, et récemment, la tenue en visitation pour faire une estimation à ce degré de préparation de ce travail-là qui n'est pas fait pour commencer la première phase du projet SALA. Le coordinateur des projets spéciaux au ministère de l'Agriculture, Eden Compton, dit que 
projet stations animaux neuf ça c'est pour assister les gens qui ont nourri les animaux et pour augmenter l'industrie. Comprendre ça, depuis le projet Sala, comment c'est pour eux La CAINI facilite pour produire divers races animaux et pour aider à multiplier, pour vendre, pour les boucher. Là, il y a une facilité pour préparer et viennent ces animaux. En facilité, ça là aussi, il y a trouvé les officiers extension avec docteurs animaux qui ont offert services et conseils à ce sont des animaux avec différents services de traitement pour ces animaux ça là pour être capable pour des animaux en haut degré et qui bien éprouvés les officiers quarantine avec les officiers pour santé publique des animaux qui ont aussi stationné ça là en volet pour faire possible pour l'année l'examination vienne qui pour vendre à l'autre pays ces officiers ça là qui est responsable pour examiner ces viennes ça là après boucher trois animaux avec cinq animaux pour faire assurer tout le monde en ordre les venir pour bonne protection mérité pour tout manger. Station neuf là pour les animaux en volette, en micro, c'est une facilité qui a été très avancée et qui a été trouvé bâti à ce yon sans yon acte. Mais première phase du projet a été fait à ce développement 30 acte. Première phase là, qui a été bâtissement chimien, canal, facilité pour chaîne cochon, yon place pour graisser les animaux, yon lot pour les animaux mettre bas, yon place pour nourrir la pain et un petit placement pour ces animaux qu'on cabrit, ils ont place pour chien manger et équipement pour ces animaux ça là, ils ont établissement pour ces travailleurs qui caillent est-ce que ça pour ces animaux là, pour les projets ça là fini complètement, ils caillent coûter 5.3 millions de dollars. Est-ce que ça, nous avons trouvé votre nouvelle là, nous avons mis au temps pour regarder, nous avons avoir une invitation pour je ne puis moi encore c'est dire comment ça fait la vie, dans les prochaines trois lots. Nouvelle à Coyol. Après ça, c'est celle que moi, au pied, pour cette journal. Merci, Appeal Primates. That brings us to the end of NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I am Janelle Norville.